Hello everyone and welcome to Capital Simplified. I hope you liked our first video talking about the resources that you could use to crack the system. Today I'm here to talk to you about the criteria that you can use to choose goals. Now this may not apply to everyone. I would always suggest that when you start off with the applications, apply to as many schools as you can uh, based on what your visa would permit, um, what status you are, what kind of um, financial restraints you might have. But just try to apply to as many schools that are out there. But if you come to a situation where you have to choose a school in a case where you have multiple acceptances, um, I'm going to talk about certain things that you could keep in mind. So first would be location. Um, we all know that DDS is very stressful and it's always good to be next to family, with family support, especially to you mothers and fathers out there who are trying to get into the program with young children. Um, I would suggest that keep that as priority and that would come above all else. The second thing that you can look at is your finances, which is more economic. Think about not just the cost of the program, but also your uh, living expenses, how much would it cost to fly to see your family if unfortunately you couldn't get into a school that's next to family. Think about all of these when you're choosing your school. Because we all know that most of us are taking an education loan and these little differences would become really big in the future as your interest compounds. The third thing I want you to look at is your future goal. Now, I've seen a lot of people who want to get into academics after they complete or they want to start their own practice or you want to get into, um, get into an associate at another practice or even do a residency. So see which school suits you better. Will, will, is it better because it's clinically oriented and you can get exposure to more cases? Or is it better because it's more research oriented and it's more academic oriented? You want to get into that path. So you could use that as a tool to choose which school you can get into. Me personally, I felt that going into SIU would be better because they take only six students and uh, which means that we get to interact with the faculty a lot more and I also get exposure to more clinical cases, complex ones, simple ones, all kinds. Um, and I would want to improve upon my clinical skills in the future. So that's one of the reasons why I chose SIU over the other schools. Now, as I said, that's one of the things. And you should also look at the student population. How many students do they take? What kind of experience can you get out of this program? Um, of course, doing a DDS is one of your ways to get into the American dental system, but also try to get the best out of your school based on what they offer. I would always suggest that uh, see if you want to learn more about diversity, with more student population, or if you're like me, who you, when you want to be in a smaller group, learn more. It all depends on what your interest is. All these will factor in. Only after you look at the most important ones, which is, did you get into a dental school yet? And if you did get into a dental school, please go ahead and accept the first dental school that accepts you. Um, don't keep waiting and give up on what is, which school has already accepted you. So that was what I had for you in um, criteria for choosing schools. I hope you like this video. I will keep it coming and uh, stay safe.